Hi everybody, it's Celine from IamHandmade.com and uh, you may have just seen the video where I cut the peony sorbet and now we're going to cut uh, the remake of Lemongrass Verbena. This one actually has um, a, t a titch, a titch more lemon titch in it. And Titch Holland, the famous soapographer, um, has kindly agreed to make the video again. Again. So, I'm more like forced into it. <laughs> yes, but you do like eating, don't you, dear? I do like eating. I do like washing too, actually, with quality soap and all that. Indeed. This is the benefit of living in the soaper. Okay. So this has lemongrass essential oil, Maychang essential oil, um, and lemongrass for being a fragrance oil. It's a blend of all three. I was just trying to think, is there anything else in there? I don't think so. There is um, glitter. Glitter. <laughs> and this was made with coconut milk. And I should have said that peony sorbet was made with uh, aloe vera as well. I should have said that. Um, so this is made with coconut milk, which I thought kind of went with the whole Thai sort of vibe thing, man. Man. Man, whatever. Who wish? No, I don't want to wish to be a man, thank you. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> okay, just sorry. Straighten that up. And here we go, guys. Now, again, this is made with the new formulation which has. A load of cocoa butter and sweet almond oil. A little bit of olive oil. Alright. You want to have a look-see? Mm. Ooh, lovely. chunk. That's really nice. I don't know really which one I prefer really nice. now. This one, the peony sorbet, is the hanger sorbet, isn't it? Yeah. And, and this, this is, is the full Yeah, I kind of like both. No, I don't know which I prefer. I think some styles suit the soaps. That one definitely suits the peony soap. Yeah. Um, I used a lot of titanium dioxide in this, so I'm hoping it doesn't clump. So there we go. Yellow is probably not as pronounced as I would like. But then again, lemongrass isn't like a crazy yellow colour in the first place. Green is lovely. I like that green. Yeah. Color. It looks how perfect. it smells, I have to say. Yeah. Oh, that's all really nice. Mm. I do like that whole citrus thing, like your um, lavender lime vetiver as well. I love that so. Well, you'd be very pleased to know I got some more um, essential oils. Uh, no, ordered some on Sunday, and so I'm going to be doing a new. There's another one. Yeah. A new fra um, fragrance blend, um, and I thought of a name tonight, which is Zest for Life. So I thought that was a nice name. And that'll probably be made in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, and what's the fragrance? It's a blend of three essential oils, which is which I have to wait to arrive. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, which is going to be blood orange, pink grapefruit, and uh, Mei Chang, which this has, that's the lemony fragrance of this. And then white grapefruit, um, uh, Florida orange and lemon peel fragrance oil. So oh it's gosh. all going to be mixed together. So it's going to be like. Oh, I like that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'd love that. Bite, but never. It's going to be way lemony. Way. <laughs> well, not lemony, citrusy. Not just lemon. But I personally love grapefruit. I love the zing of it. It smells nice in soap, but I would not eat it, I have to say. No. Well, I would eat soap anyway, but I don't like. You don't food. eat soap, that's good to know. Yeah. So, lemongrass verbena with coconut milk and lovely toppings. See the thick, the depth yes, of them here? I love it. I had some fun and I didn't have Titch beside me to tell me to stop poking at them. I didn't as well. Which is what I need half the time. Where was I? Oh, well, I was off star stalking as well yeah. on Saturday. <laughs> Who are you stalking on Saturday? Glenn Close. 
And did you get to meet her? I did indeed, after a lot of perseverance, I have to say. Um, she only signed one autograph outside and talked to the press, but then I managed to sneak my way inside, which I couldn't do tonight because security was a lot tighter, and I managed to get her just before she went to the screen for the film. So, so well only shot. two people in Dublin got her autograph and you were one of them. Oh, yeah. And the pictures up on your Facebook page as they well? They are, yeah. So if people want to see pictures of Glenn Close at a premiere of Albert Knobs, which oddly enough, Malky was in. So if you do go to see it in the cinema, watch out for the is health, it, official, health official well, quarantine, quarantine doctor. doctor sounds better. Because <laughs> uh, that's Malcolm and his name will be on the credits as well. So He's got a dialogue scene in the does. So, yeah. so if you... Uh, do go and see it, make sure you keep an eye out for him and you can turn to all your friends and say I know her, his wife her is <laughs> yes. and I must apologise when I put up the Glenn Close pictures on my Taken by Titch page I had up before that there'd be new soul pictures up tonight and I never put them up um, because I had transferred them onto Celine's computer and I forgot to save them on my own and I have to try and get them back in and all that jazz so they will be up soon Do <coughs> just trimming these down a tiny bit look at me apologising to my fans your fans? aren't I lovely? they're my fans some of them are my fans are they? yeah I don't even mention you <laughs> don't are. mention you all the time <laughs> no. actually no in fairness of all the fans on my page, a lot of them like your soap over either the pictures I have. Although the ones in Cork were good, the flowers, not bit like that in the landscape. But your soap is probably the most popular of my photos. I would say, sweetheart, they're fans of the soap and not us, <laughs> to be fair, more than anything. So, yeah, let's... Like video, so, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm rambling on now. <laughs> yeah, we're both tired. It's a long day and it's Monday and I'm standing right in the shadow. As so, always. Shush. This is lemongrass verbena with essential oil and fragrance oil blend and made of coconut milk. And if you just want to give the quick peep to peony sorbet, mm -hmm. which I should have said was made of olive oil. Olive. No. Oh, olive oil. Aloe vera. God. It does have olive oil in that too though. But aloe vera. And so this is what I did on Saturday. I used two of the And to be honest, I'm exhausted so I don't know how people make batches of like 90 soaps at a time and make six batches of 90 soaps <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm just really lazy so there you go that's it um lemongrass verbena it's beautiful it'll be ready beginning of april ish i'll have the the proper date up on the facebook page and hopefully it should be an absolute gem yet again and do some of her fabulous photography on it and it's supposed to be sunny this week titchy it's actually supposed to rain this week titchy is supposed to be sunny this week it will be sunny this week. So you're going to be doing loads of photos for us. As well as study. Yeah, yes. Yes. I have slept. Ah, uh, yeah. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that messing. Right, that's it. Um, happy Monday uh, to you. Some of you probably only waking up. And for us, it's night time and time for bed soon. So... We'll put these to bed themselves. Oh. Um, even though Malky's gone upstairs already. Now, oh yeah, then I'll have to do it. Did she'll have to bring them up for me. <laughs> She's the soap room manager anyway, so. Well, that's a good title for you. Soap room manager. Soap, soap curing manager. Yes, and I am handmaid's handmaid. Yes, <laughs> that's Titch's new title. She's I am handmaid's handmaid. M A I D in this case. Okay. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Um, see you soon. Uh, definitely have more soaps planned to make at least Saturday. If I get the energy in between, I'll make them beforehand. But I'll just tell you they're very summery because I got them today. The fragrances and oh my god, they smell so good. So, I'll show you, and hopefully they don't go mental on me. But these are beautifully behaved. Very good girls. girls. Yeah. So, um, see you later on, and be good, and have a great Monday. Bye-ya! Bye-ya!